Hey guys, Kid Guru here with the XP tutorial. Tutorial, and as you see here, my I had this background before, and now I got it back because it's a really cool background. And well, I was just screwing around with, uh, and yeah, screwing around with Resource Hacker on Windows XP here, and I found out some pretty neat stuff, guys. No doubt, no lies. I was on UStream right now with DVP, uh, and we're talking, and I'm just screwing around with the Resource Hacker to see what I can ch change in. Uh, Customize and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a hardcore, you know, you know, uh, pretty hard, uh, hardcore. And you have to sit there, and you know that that. Then you know you're a geek when you sit there, and you start messing with the resources and stuff like that. But hey, it's cool, you know. By all means, uh, and it gave me another reason to make a YouTube tutorial. Uh, YouTube tutorial. So as you saw from there, right here, check that out, guys. Now you you know you've woken up before if you got on your computer and you said I wish I can change that logo. Well now you can guys. I'm gonna bring it to you. Uh, I've showed you how to change start menu text right there. You see that logo? Now like I said, Grant, it's not perfect, but uh, I just did a quick test and I can still fill in those lines right there that are white. All I did basically was paste it to MS Paint, got an eyedropper, got the exact color of that shade, put pasted it on. And I'm gonna tell you how to do it using Resource Hacker, you guys. It's actually really, really easy. And now, Resource Hacker isn't that bad of, pr you know, down, uh, despite the name. It's actually a great, great program. It's recommended by CNET. I'll give you the link in the video description. And even look at this. When I hover over it, look what it says. Hang on. No, it's not doing it now. Hang on. There you go. Enter the tech world. Now, how did I do that? I'll show you how to do that too. But mainly today's tutorial will be about how to change the Windows icon logo I should say but uh, that's just the Apple logo with the Windows colors on it and guys it's actually really really easy and I'm gonna bring a lot of more resource hacker tutorials for you in the future so this is a great program guys so fire it up after you download it and first off to change the XP logo it's actually really easy you just click the, the here on bitmap go to the first bitmap extend it go to 1033 and by default you'll have a Windows lo uh, lo logo with about like a black background and I was wondering now if, uh, so if you can replace uh, icons and you know text and stuff like that scripts within Resource Hacker why not m uh, see if you can mess with the logo so the first bitmap 143 extend it go to 1033 now you can't all you can do is copy it from here but if you go up here to 1033 go to replace source and right here make sure you're on 143 open a file with a new bitmap it has to be a bitmap image so that's just a close up you see it's apple logo with the all I did is get a logo off the uh web and made it really sm much smaller so find your image you know i already had mine hit open it and then select the new bitmap and hit replace right here after you got it and for example if you get it i'll just run ms paint real quick for example, I had the logo right there. You see that the size it was, and all I did basically to get that color, I just did a quick print screen. Uh, wait, hang on, let me make sure I got the print screen. Yeah, print screen, pasted it, got the eyedropper, scrolled down, went like that, and I got the exact color that was needed, and then I just pasted it in like that. Now that's the about the same shade, and you can still mess with all the attributes and stuff like that. And that's all from MS Paint, guys. It was really easy. And uh, so I just changed it, hit replace, and there was replace. But not only that, guys, you can replace more than that logo. I'm still going to look into this. You can replace the start menu. Look at that. I'm going to probably see if I can get a new color within that. But make sure you know what you're changing. This just like the registry. You don't want to screw with anything up. But the good thing is if you backed up your actual explorer.exe or if you still have your regular explorer.exe, you can go back to everything normal looking like that if you screw up so that's a cool thing about resource hacker you if you have backup you're good to go so really guys I'm gonna be messing around with this to see a Whistler advanced server see you find a whole bunch of cool stuff in here what code name Whistler data center server crazy stuff in here that I'm gonna be messing around with so I'll get back to you with more tutorials but like I said that's a, just the way to change the logo so that's really really cool but not only that if you go into your uh, string table uh, and you see I have a lot of stuff open here and if you want to learn how to change stuff like my text I did you go to 34 go to 1033 and right here on the 533 string it'll say something like whatever and if you know what you're changing just hit you know between the text and type in what you want and I had enter te the tech world 
and you can change it with whatever you want because it's just text basically hit compile script and then go to save as or save if you're ready on your own explorer now like I said uh, the way you're gonna save this it has to be on your explorer whatever dot uh, exe it can't be on your original one check out the video that I posted before this on how to make this basically all you're gonna do is uh when you when I showed you how to if you if this is your first time using resource hacker then all you're gonna wanna do is after you compile your scripts and stuff go to save as save as save it in your windows local c disk or c disk windows make sure you don't save it as your original explorer.exe because that's bad because that's your backup pretty much you want to save it as your own so uh... just name it something like explorer and then your name dot exe and save it as that and then how do you boot off of that basically you go into registry uh... registry editor and you have to go to your uh... shell which is actually a uh, you have to go to your okay sorry registry editor and you can open that by going to run reg edit and then you go f from there you go to a uh, uh, from run you go to reg like I said reg edit sorry I have to get double check on this because uh, I had this in my other video make sure you check out the video response will be in there but anyway go to reg edit and then H key local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version click win logon and stay on that folder and then go to set and then you'll see in the directory to your right I'll say shell and then just double click that and make it boot off whatever file you saved it as so my example would be explorekidguru.exe if it's confusing check out the video that it, this is a video response to if not guys that's a cool way to change your logo and much more so i'll be coming back to you guys with more uh... Hang on. uh with more uh... tips tricks stuff like that for research hacker anyways guys thanks for watching and comment rate subscribe